and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you. I had a few uh, comments in other videos saying that people would like for me to share some of the dinners that we eat again. So to be fair we have a pretty tight rotation of dinners that we eat so there's not that many exciting new recipes but I did want to share this one with you because it's a soup. We have soup one night every week. I find it's just a really uh, economical meal and it's a way to get a lot of vegetables <laughs> into one meal so yeah that's what we're having today I thought I would share it with you because it's actually a meal that both my boys eat with zero complaints now to be fair Lachlan my 10 year old is a really good eater uh, we're very lucky with him he eats pretty much anything he'll tell me if he doesn't like it but he'll still eat it for the most part Tobias is the opposite my seven year old and he will not touch something that he doesn't want to eat and that includes a lot of vegetables so I find having soup once a week really helps I always make a double batch so I'm making a batch today and we'll have this tonight and for a meal next week and I will leave the original recipe below I don't know if I follow it exactly anymore um, so I'll show you how I make it so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started and the one thing I will say is that the secret to this meal is that it's blended for one so there's no chunky vegetables and we also have it with ears, which is uh, spelt like your ear. <laughs> and it's something that Mike's mum makes and they're really good. And we used to just have bread with our soup and now we have ears. It helps me use up uh, extra pastry. And if I have some onions lying around and cheese. So I'm not gonna make those until tonight, but I'll show you how I make those. And that's what we have on the side. It's really good. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the soup now. I actually started the soup at 5 a.m. this morning because that's when I get up so I have a bit of time before the boys wake up and uh, Mike and I can have breakfast together and things so the first thing I did this morning was I put on some stock so I'll show you what that looks like so we had a roast chicken last night so this morning I just put uh, into this pot uh, the carcass of the chicken with some celery onion garlic whatever I have lying around <laughs> I put here sometimes I make the soup and the stock in a slow cooker but today I just want to get it done this morning because I'm going to be out of the house this afternoon. So yeah, this has been going for quite a while. Um, so I'm going to drain this and use the stock for the soup, obviously. And then here are the ingredients for the soup. So as well as the chicken stock, which I think the recipe calls for about four cups of chicken stock. I have two cans of tomato puree. I have three onions. Um, the recipe only calls for one, but since they're small, I'm using three. Three potatoes, three carrots, uh, three sticks of broccoli. I kind of have three and a half because they're small. And three quarters of a cup of red lentils. And the lentils make the soup really nice and smooth when you blend it. I think that's one of the best uh, things about the soup. And of course, lentils have loads of good stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a very healthy soup. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drain the stock, I'm going to chop up the vegetables and throw it all in a pot. Okay, so I've just added some butter to the same uh, pot that the stock was cooking in. And I am just going to cook down the carrot, celery and onion until the onions are kind of clear. And then I will put in the diced potatoes, the two cans of tomato puree. I'll put four cups of chicken stock back into the pot and the lentils. And then I'm going to put the lid on and let that simmer away for about an hour, an hour and a half. And then the soup will be done. So I'm going to pop that aside to cool in the fridge and later on I will blend that and I will come back and show you how I make the ears. Okay, so it's a bit later now and the soup has cooled down. I can touch it with my hand, it's still warm, but I think it's gonna be fine to go in the blender. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna blend it up now and put it in the fridge so it's all ready to warm up again later. I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper when I reheat it because obviously there's no salt in the chicken stock, so I will season it. So yeah, the next thing I'll show you is how I make the ears to go along with the soup. Okay, so it's time to make the ears. So I have preheated my oven to 190 degrees Celsius, just regular bake, and I've lined two baking trays. And then I just pull out uh, two sheets of puff pastry from the freezer, 
and to this I'm gonna add grated onion we quite like the onion in them so we use a whole onion but you could just use half uh, just grate enough cheese to do a layer over the top and then I use two rashes of bacon I cut them into quarters and put them on so it's not a lot of bacon on here and then I just roll them up um, not too tight <laughs> but I kind of seal the top by pushing it down and then I cut them up so I halve them and then halve them and then halve them again until I've got quite thin slices and then I just bake them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they look golden brown and then I serve them with the soup and that is how dinner is looking tonight so let me know down in the comments if you think you might try this one out uh, or if you have any soup recipes that your whole family likes to eat leave them linked down in the comments and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye